Come on, girl. There we go. Click, click, click. And then I'll stick this on charge. Like that. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back here on this Wednesday for some more Alan Wake Remastered. This, I think, should be the final episode. <coughs> I decided to do a bit, do it a bit earlier today. Um, I need to sort this camera because it's too high up. I always get down dead low when I'm streaming. You know, there you go. That looks a bit right, but um, it's maybe a bit too low actually. Showing off a bit too much of the goods. Yeah, that should be. Woo! Oh, damn. Wait. In the last episode, we got into the light and we found a uh, bit of paper from the previous guy, something Zane, or his name is Zane. Not for One Direction, because I didn't even get me started. But he's left a note of some kind where he's writing a story, and I apparently know how to end it. Whereas I have no clue what the hell is going on still after five episodes and countless hours of playing it. Um, if you'd like to be friends with me outside of YouTube and uh, maybe speak to me or ask me a question or anything like that, you can get me on TikTok at Brian Keeler, Instagram at official Brian Keeler, and Twitter at Brian Keeler. Spelt exactly the same way as the name of this channel. Um, if you'd like to help out the channel, my uh, PayPal link is in the live chat, the description, and on the about part of the channel. And you can donate, tip, whatever it is you call it, wherever you are from. But uh, I wait, they haven't even posted it yet. There we go, it's posted now. Uh, that's just me thinking I'd done it when I hadn't. Hello Julie, thanks for watching. Cracking. I'm not really excited to be getting angry. <laughs> After yesterday's rage fest, I don't really want to get angry again. So hopefully this one has no flying machines, no guys with axes, and just a bit more story. And I don't mind travelling, maybe even driving. But uh, let's see how this shiz goes and get into Alan Week Remastered, Episode 6. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of the cauldron lake. Ran the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Before we start, I'll have to change over controllers. I completely forgot all about it. But I'll do that now and then we can get started. Sorry for again the false start. It's the second time I keep forgetting. I've got that much to remember. But I'll be back in a second, everyone. No, 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 no. We're all good, we're back. Right, okay, let's get started. I had a hangover. My head 
was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Now where will I keep my sunglasses out of that? Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Where's my living room? Is it through this door? This looks like it should be the closet. Nope, can't get in there. This must be it. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. I can wait. I need clues. Maybe it's in this book. Oh, look at the guns! Holy shit! Woo! If they're real, I want them. Imagine that on display. Oh my god, here we go. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, then she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Ow, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! What is this hot office? Any clues? Can I get in here? Nope. Turn on the TV. I don't know why I sit and watch telly. Go in the kitchen and see if I can get a cold brewski. Nope. Bottle of wine? I'd been nope. a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. I can't leave. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everyone. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. Damn it. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No. Nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, Who congratulations. Talks like that? That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies
Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for a Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. And At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was angry, mostly at myself, and she was there, a convenient victim. Hell yeah. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal, then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation, just you and me. Some peace and quiet. And two years later, here we are. <coughs> Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. <coughs> Good luck, Al. See you later. No, if the main character dies, great. I'm on my own again. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. Yes. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. I think he's going back to the cabin that disappeared. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. When they let me take a duke. What was the point in him getting out of his car? Do I have to look at this board? No. Absolutely wasteless, pointless, wasted time. Oh yes, this is more like it. Daylight, no ghouls. Just me driving. Perfect. I'll do this for two hours. Or however long this stream lasts. Ah, oh, yeah. Get the cotton. <coughs> What's going on in here? <coughs> Looking for bullets and stuff, what's this? We 
Well, sure, I could just swap cars. I'm not a thief, though. Let's go. Why is there so many stops? Well, saw that I'm not bothered. We ain't stopping again. <coughs> oh no. Anybody else hear that? Like, breath when he gets out the car? I think I'll go that way if I can. I'm not going in that dark thing where it's all blocked off. It's all dark. Hell yeah, go this way. It's just it'll be right off a cliff. <gasps> no! Yeah, I think that's too dangerous. Oh well, looks like it's in the darkness we go. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. What's in here? Can I jump in? Definitely not. God's sake. That's off, but <coughs> oh yes, man. Car just sitting there. Hell yeah, I'm out of here. Woo! If it keeps on happening like that, that's not realistic at all. <coughs> that car can sod off. Yeah, as long as I can go, we keep going. Why are you stopping for you? Kiss my grits. This guy's getting total ploughed into though if he waits. Hey girl! Boom! Satisfying. I don't like this, not one bit. I need guns. Here we go. <coughs> well, looks like we'll be in a fight. Like, right quick. Ah! Hey, what the fuck? 
fucking piece of it. It has begun. The difficulties. Okay, run. I'll pick us up. And then I'll see if I can climb up here. I can, but I can't get up here. Oh, I can. Run. What the hell? Whoa, whoa. What's that in me? Just run, run. What the hell? And they're like, quick. I can't believe I survived that. I don't believe it. Truly, I can't have there. Everything's going mental. Everything's shaking. Is that in here? I don't know what's going on. Then he hit me. Yeah. I just don't know how to affect a lot of anything like that. Don't block the road. Uh oh, it's shaking like a chicken dog. Oh no! Try to quick get off that bridge. Oh god, no. I thought that was coming towards me, that bug. Is it down here? No, I need to get to that light. Come on, baby! Run into the light. Ugh. Of course, there's black shit all over the ground. Just ignore it. Oh, shit. Guy is completely knackered. Oh god, no. We can spin, mate. Ah! Is that 
Fuck on. That's nice. Stop hitting me, bitch! Gonna fucking die because this cunt when he fucking load. Fuck's sake. Could I do it all again, please? Yes, you can. Thank you. Fuck's sake. Where did you fucking come to, bitch? Why you, you mud blood? Is that it? Are these twats? Did that come comfy? Fuck that. Run, bitch. Guy's dead. This is very near impossible. It's either that or I just absolutely love this bit and will love to just keep on doing it, if I can please. That noise is almost as bad as the clickers, right? Where's this? I knew you were that thing, you piece of shit. Um, 
like that, Sonny Jim? Look at this bit. This is the fucker right here. <laughs> you want to get me? Well, you can't because I'm in the light, bitch. I'm going to get in my car and go on home. Yeah. But it was easy. No problem. Only took one try. Oh, I think I'm close. Up this way. I'm gonna make my way to the Cauldron Lake. I'm gonna drive till I can no more. I'm driving into the light area. Go this way. Right now, what? Of course I've got to go through there. Yay! First I'm going in here. Fuck, I'm not signing any waiver. Kiss my... hairy ring piece. You twat. Right, nothing in here. Come on, get up there. Oh, no. Surely there's a way. Can you grip onto something to get up? No. Feck it. Let's go inside. There's some creepy breathing out here. Right, let's get upstairs. Can I not just go somewhere in peace? There I was someday. Thermos. I like my man like I like my coffee. Hot, strong, and sweet like toffee. Woohoo, baby! Any chance you can get to have mere guns is happy days, happy days. This car looks massive. Is this bullets for that one I just picked up? <laughs> Too foo. Right, stairs. Let's go upstairs and have a look at what we're dealing with here. No doubt it'll just be a crappy TV and a radio. Pick up a couple of gangbangs. Is that it? Really? Ah, oh, come on, Squidward. Fuck. If I jumped in there, I'm definitely dead because he's hopeless in every way. And it's dark. Which means... Oh, I love that. That gun. If I had that the whole game, piece of pass. Is it this way? Telling me to go this way. I had to get the gate open. 
And how do you expect me to do that? Do I drive through it with my car or? Is Confucius. So what about they? I've been in there, been all the way around. Or oh, maybe there must be a fuse box in here somewhere. Better days, better days. Any of you, anyone using the chat know if there's a fuse box or something in here? If you know, now would be the time to tell me. Otherwise, when you do tell me, it'll be too late. But it's right at the top of the stairs. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Woo! Woo! Right. Off. and get my energy up. There we go. I get in this car. Because I'm not walking through all the guys, I'm just gonna pour it through them. Right at the bell end. Okay. Woo! This is me like it. Travelling in style, girl. This looks like a. Didn't even think about dropping a car on me. So this way, I can't see. This way. Now what? No, I don't want to. I'm going back that way, so that must be I a had ladder. to get the container out of my way. There had to be a way to power up the container lift. Only a pure genius would have found that. Right now they're going to try and attack me. What's that? Oh, that's electric. But they're going to try and start on me the new. It's not going to be just as easy as I thought as much. Kiss my grits, bitch. I'm gonna get in this car and drive right through you.
the weapons, bro. There we go. Boom. Still playing that creepy music. Let's go through here. Get my energy up. Oh yeah. What's that? Is that a police car? No. Looks like one, doesn't it? How far away is Cauldron Lake like? Day 35. Alan Wake has been travelling for 35 ah, days. For today's task, he must get to Cauldron Lake. For a premier shopping budget, otherwise, he will be on basic rations. as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. No, sir, I don't like it. I can't see what the hell's going on. Now what? Alright. Let me guess there'll be no cars in here. It'll just be... That thing doesn't drive, so I'm screwed. Happy days, happy days. Oh, there's a light, so they're going to come there now. Thermos. No seen one in a while. Golly. Run into the house quick. I think I'd do better in tight spaces, if you know what I mean. I will on. never give her to you. Batch. Oh shit. Get out. Can suck a dick, bitch. When you're the king and like me. Over thermos, I knew there was a thermos coming. Hold down to switch to hunting rifle or shotgun. Oof. Hunting rifle. Maybe a bad choice, but one into this one. Where's the door? Where's the door? Is that the door? Is that the door? Let's sneak out here. 
Have I got to push this in? They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Quick, 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 quick. you're going to get an axe in the back then, eh? Hi, Kyle. Why didn't you shoot that quick all the time? Absolute retard. Die, bitch! Fuck's sake! 40 shots later! I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison oh, she yeah, was being having a in. laugh. I'm not doing all that again. You can kiss my grits. Right, where's the way out? Push this goddamn thing. I'm just gonna gun it. Better days, better days. I will never give her to you. I can't wait till this game is completed. Like, magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. And I never I have to, to play it again. From the dark prison she was being held in. I don't give a fuck about my wife. Like, I'm just gonna go back on my book tour. Fuck off. That light doesn't do anything if you turn it on, so it's absolutely pointless. I will never give her to you. Won't you not? Get in here quick. Another mong. I bet you. And now I'll go in and get the other gun. I need to make it there without anybody spawning.
Where's my guy got life? He's got mauled by everybody there, can't believe I did it. I hope I better, I better not die like, because if I have to go back and do that again, I'm just going to jump off a cliff. Sod that for a laugh. Who's leaving all these things in the way? That seems to have been a waste of life. Pick up my new script. Jump up here. Jump up here. And now I'm trapped for life. What was that noise? I don't know where to go. I can't get out. the light. I feel like you're a mong. Thank God for this light. God, I've got to go across a bridge, ain't I? I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Oh, no. How did I get there? By going all the way back. Perfect. Here. Right. Have I got to go down here? Yes. Super. It's going to be birds in it. Birds attack. Here they come. Where to now? I'm going to go straight to the light. to go up there. Oh god, I do, don't I? Those birds don't sound happy. Mm. Oh god, of course I'm going to push out. As long as birds don't attack me while I'm doing this. You tell me I've got to go back and do all that again. How do I get round? You're having a laugh. But I do not need life. Can't even slide down these ladders. Mind you, the game is pretty old. Get my life back. Just in case something goes wrong. Right. Let's do this again, shall we? Sorry, I keep going out of square. I'm uh, always game like I'm concentrating. Right. I'm 
not done. And here they come again. What the hell, man? Ah, fucking pieces of shit. Jesus, H. Corbett. This guy hasn't eaten through this whole game. How is he still alive? Mind you, it's probably only been over like a day or two. Hopefully they haven't seen me, I'll sneak out the back. Better. Don't you dare come flying at me. This guy is knackered. All the girls say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. I don't know where to go, so I'm following the road. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? Somebody's just going to turn up and I'm going to die because I can't see. I can't see. Oh, fuck off me. I can't see. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have fucking bushes around me. I can't go that way, so.
Hey, where's the big bastard? Did he's here somewhere? There he is. Oh, he's not the big one. Woo! I know for a fact I'm going to just get a big axe in the side of my head. No more things dropped on me, please. Oh, just a machine that's going to come alive, that's all. Sunlight. Reach up for the sunrise. There we go. Run like flock. And then whoever's controlling this is going to get a gunshot to the head. Why did it make me look up there? Because that means it's going to be people coming along, isn't it? If he's in that, then he can stay in that. Run! We're almost at the light! My guy knackered to death, though. Alright, I didn't even see the black things on the ground. Ah, baby. Bikini bottom. Please tell me this is it. No, it's not, is it? Because there's another bit after this. God's sake. I'm going to look around first because no doubt there's going to be like an electrical bit I have to turn on or something like that or something I have to push out the way. But I've got upstairs I can fall to my death onto these electric cables. What's this? Shotgun ammo. Switch to pump action shotgun. Hell yeah. Pump action. More like a bit of pump action every now and again. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Oh, nearly jump off that building. What does that say? The darkness. Controls the taken. Well, I'm no being taken, mate, so. Right, let's see a look, see where I've got to go. Right, I'm no going in there. I'm no going out there. What's that out there? I'll have to turn that on, so I'll go there. And then I'll run out there. <coughs> Fuck it, I'll just run out here. I just got some stuff earlier, so. Just in case anybody comes. Flare guns are absolutely beautiful. But guys just sneaking up in you isn't beautiful. You can get fucked in it. Can you sneak up on me through a fancy thing you mate? <laughs> Woo! Are they just going to keep coming? Have I just got to stand my guard? Is that what this is? Yeah, I'm 
get some provisions. Go in here for some safety. There's even a ladder. What's the point in having this building if there's not even a ladder in it? I've got to go up here somehow. Quick! Wee! Oh, it's got a light in it as well. I like that. Right, let's get up here. If we're not getting attacked by the guys wielding axes, it's bloody birds up here. Some crazy lady in my memory. So we're heading this way. Open the door. How do you get out? There we go. Pick up manuscript. Right. Right, here we go. Oh, I nearly went straight down that. To hell! Right. Turn back now! energy. Oh, Destroy the tornado. How? What is it Jason Mraz sang? I fucking did it. I really did it, yeah. I fucking did it. Ah, la 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 la. Fuck it. House comes back. Either that or I'm jumping in the water to die. up in the house and she's like hey baby girl Shh, baby you were having a bad dream it 
was just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan? You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? Find the fucker. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work here. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. Hey, two good looking guys. <laughs> Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Use the clicker. I really thought that was that. What does that say? Boom. Oh, that's not pointless. So it's a telephone pole for signal. I found the idea of a path. And? Second thing you said that. That's a new material. Fast fight with her. Now you will never get her back. Why I made it? I am 
much older than you. Older than your first work of art. Don't care. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, Someone else to dream me free. I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. So she dead oh, for no. so I wanted to find her under war. Either that or we both drowned. Am I dead? Did I jump after her? Did I sacrifice myself so she could live?
Wait, is that it? Is that it? That is the ending. And there has been no sequels. Ground control to Major Tom. The hell? So what happened? Am I dead? Did I jump? Was the house there? Did that happen? Like I didn't even see Barry again. The hell? And then the big end fight was... I stuck a clicker in an old woman's stomach who was... They are not there. I don't get it. I have no idea. So what do y'all think? Do you think... Do you have any other different thoughts than I'm having? Or maybe you know what the hell the story was all about and you could let me know in the comments. But I guess that's Alan Wake Remastered. I mean, this wasn't as hard as... I think the previous two. The game constantly gets harder as it goes along. It feels like, anyway. They just throw a lot more at you. Yeah. But as I say, the handling of it's good. It feels like I say, uh, Max Payne. Uh, shooting's easy enough to pick up, so if you haven't got it, the game yet. I mean, if you find it cheap, get it. It's alright. I think Uncharted's better. Like, the way it plays, like, the moving action and the cinematics, how you do, like, different camera angles from front to back. And then, the cl I mean, the climbing's a bit over the top, but... This game is just run till you run out of air. I suppose it's more realistic, but... Seeing that, there's things dropping out the sky. And g guys with axes are plenty. They all look exactly the same, except the big bad ones that take more shots. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this play along with me. Um, I have another three-ish games that are new-ish that I could play next. So if this video does really well and you hit the like button, then uh, I may start tomorrow with a new playthrough. But as I say, subscribe so you can see next time I upload a video if you'd like to see more from me. And have a good Wednesday night. It's dinner time for me, so I'm going to go off and have something to eat because I think I've earned it with this mind f of a game. But again, let me know what you think in the comments. If you know anything that I didn't pick up on, then let me know. it would be interesting to find out what the hell actually went on. But until next time, thank you for watching. And I'll speak to you guys later.